Welcome back, Canaanites. As promised, today we'll be going over all known details for the upcoming Halo Wars 2 expansion, Awaken the Nightmare. This expansion, releasing in fall of this year, will feature a new campaign and new co-op mode. Set a few months after the main campaign, Awakening the Nightmare will allow players to take control of the Banished as they take on an ancient, terrifying threat, the Flood. And yes, this is all canon. For anyone wondering about the presence of the Flood, Halo Waypoint explains that this Flood outbreak was born from a remnant of the Flood that we fought in Halo 3. Stuff like Flood Spores are unaffected by the Halo effect due to a lack of a nervous system and can remain potent for years. Hopefully more details will arise during the campaign. As an aside, I'm somewhat curious why 343 decided to get rid of that infection form that was stowed away on Spirit of Fire if they were going to bring the Flood back. Anyway, throughout the campaign, players will be introduced to two banished leaders who will also be playable in the other major addition to Awakening the Nightmare, Terminus Firefight. This new cooperative mode will allow up to three players to amass armies to protect their Terminus node while beating back waves of enemies. According to Halo Waypoint, enemies will include UNSC, Banished, and Flood. Side note, I am more than willing to bet that the aforementioned Brute Leaders are the two that we see in this key art for Awakening the Nightmare. This new firefight will be based more on traditional RTS gameplay rather than the card system used in Blitz Firefight, with players building up bases and unlocking tech trees and leader powers. In addition, we'll also be able to construct defensive barriers. Revealed during today's Xbox Daily Stream, Terminus Firefight also includes boss waves. These will feature unique, powerful enemies, likely similar to the bosses seen in Blitz Firefight. For the Flood, this will include the Flood Juggernaut, now called the Abomination in Halo Wars 2. Personally, I cannot wait to read the lore behind that thing. But, as awesome as all this is, the Flood will not be a playable faction in this expansion. Fans will have to continue to wait to play as the Flood. This expansion is also not part of the Season Pass, which, given that it includes blur cutscenes, makes a good bit of sense. Now, it is true that the Season Pass mentioned Campaign DLC, and that is coming in the form of two missions coming out a little later this summer. I really wish, however, that 343 had talked about that DLC before announcing Awakening the Nightmare, as the initial confusion was... not fun, let's say. And speaking of the Season Pass, the next two leaders have been revealed as Jerome092 and Rip Amorami, the Arbiter from Halo Wars 1. The Arbiter has been shown sporting a banished twist with his forces and a new unit that looks like a mini phantom. Or it could just be a full-size banished phantom, we'll have to see. Remember, in RTSs, not everything is always to scale. In fact, almost everything is out of scale with everything else. Anyway, Jerome, to my knowledge, has not yet been shown. It'll be interesting to see what 343 does with him, especially since he's already a unit for Captain Cutter. And that pretty much covers everything we know about Awakening the Nightmare at this point. Once again, this expansion will release in fall of this year. I'm guessing late September to early October, but we'll see. The expansion will cost $19.99 USD. And before we go, a quick bit of speculation. It's best to make our expectations realistic when it comes to the campaign missions. I imagine we'll see five to seven missions, maybe half a campaign or so, with no more than three blur cutscenes, if the main campaign is anything to go on. One can hope for more, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we only got two, let alone three. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you all for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you.